Attorney General William Barr announced the findings of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election on Sunday, concluding that President Donald Trump and members of his presidential campaign did not collude with Russia or try to stop Mueller's work. But that hasn't stopped anti-Trumpers or Democrats from vowing to continue to investigate the president on numerous fronts. Robert Mueller may have completed his report, but other investigations into President Trump are expected to carry on for months, National Public Radio, NPR, reported on Saturday before details of the Mueller report were released on Sunday. Even though Mueller's investigation into 2016 U.S. election interference is over, there are several different ways inquiries into President Donald Trump, the Trump Organization and the Kremlin will continue, the Huffington Post reported on Saturday. NPR reported that at least eight federal criminal cases are ongoing. In Congress, the Senate Intelligence Committee has yet to complete its 2016 election interference investigation and issue a report, and multiple committees in the House have launched wide-ranging inquiries on multiple topics beyond the Russian interference issue. And the same Justice Department that produced the Mueller report has other investigations underway, according to NPR, even if none of the cases have yet to involve the president directly. Roger Stone who was a political consultant to the 2016 Trump campaign, will face trial later this year for charges of obstruction, witness tampering, and lying to Congress. A case against former business partner of Trump's former national security adviser Michael Flynn is working its way through the courts in the Eastern District of Virginia. Flynn has pleaded guilty to lying to investigators but has yet to be sentenced. Rick Gates, a business associate of short term Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who pleaded guilty last year to conspiracy and making false statements, is cooperating with the Dodge. Manafort was sentenced to four years in prison for financial fraud convictions that were part of the Mueller investigation. Prosecutors have charged Russian attorney Natalia Veselnitskaya who met with Donald Trump Jr. at Trump Tower in June 2016 to allegedly to give the Trump campaign political information about Democrats, has been charged with obstruction of justice in an unrelated case. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan is looking to establish whether the Trump 2017 inaugural committee may have broken the law by, among other ways, raising money from foreigners, NPR reported. Representative Elijah Cummings, DMD, requested information from 81 individuals and entities in early March related to security clearances and businesses practices in the Trump Organization. Representative Jerry Nadler, D. New York, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, could introduce articles of impeachment against Trump. Nadler has said he believes there's already evidence that Trump committed acts that may rise to the level of impeachment, especially what Nadler has called potential obstruction of justice, NPR reported. Federal prosecutors from the Southern District of New York continue their investigation into the hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal for their alleged sexual affairs with Trump. These payments, totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars, could mean the president committed campaign finance violations during the 2016 election race, the Huffington Post reported. A New York state attorney general is investigating Trump's dealings with Deutsche Bank as it relates to his attempt to buy the Buffalo Bills football team. The New York Times reported that the attorney general's office subpoenaed Deutsche Bank and Investors Bank for records related to the bill's deal, as well as other Trump organization plans, Huffington Post reported. The Huffington Post summed up its list of Trump investigations, including one into venture capitalist Imad Zuberi, who donated $900,000 to Trump's inauguration committee. Much like the other inquiries into Trump's operations and inner circle, there's no immediate end in sight for the investigation, the Huffington Post reported.